Babs Fabs. Today I am going to show you how I made this beautiful um, journal. This is tea journal. So I'm going to show you because a lot of women request how did I make it? What did I make it out of? And I made it out of this wonderful box right here. This is a Lipton iced tea box. You have to have two of them and this is how you you make it let me make sure I am in frame and do I have to come out some um I think it's perfect okay so what you have to do first is cut this is how the box looks when you get it and from Walmart has tea and it's shaped like this okay so what you do is you cut off what did I yeah I cut it off these two flaps here Then you cut all around it. It actually have the preparation lines like already there. So you can see on the back where you see the prep preparation lines. So just cut it off. a generous amount of glue because this is going to be the spine of your book and you do not want it coming up a loose be very careful with this hot glue you know how it burns you so here it is just glue it down make sure it sticks really good Okay, so here are the makings of your top journal. If you want to, you could just run a bead of glue right there, right here, to make sure that is stuck down really good. As you can see, be very careful. Okay, so once that is done, the next step that I do is I get just some basic, any type of acrylic paint. And, whoopsie, you're just going to paint with white acrylic paint. Ooh, the strings from the glue. Okay, you're just going to paint your outside and you're going to paint the inside also make sure you cover it real good okay you're going to do the spine and you're going to do the other cover other cover as well okay make sure you get which you can you're going to go over it again once it dries you can put a second coat on it but this is the steps you're just basically covering the book the box really really well so it's no longer a box now it's become a, a journal and you're going to do this side 
once this side dry, you're going to do the other side. Okay, so once you get a good solid coat on it, and you really don't have to go over it twice because you know why? You're going to add napkins. So, this is your one side already done. All right, now, so now the pieces is dry, and I have added the white acrylic paint on the front cover and also the inside cover. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to apply. All I used was some um, tacky glue, and I add some water to it. So all I'm going to do is just apply the tacky glue over the entire cover. And I'm going to apply the napkin to it as soon as I um, finish applying all the glue. You have to do it at um, certain sections at a time. So what I'm going to do, I am going to apply this top section to this. And it's going to go over. Sorry if my head was in the way. It's going to go from the corner here, part of the spine here. Let me add some more glue on this side. I'm going to add that. And I'm going to add the more glue on this side, also on part of the napkin because we're going all the way over. And we're going to try to do like a continuation. So, I'm going to place this part of the napkin here. See how. So, this is one side that you've done. And you see where you get little spaces where it seemed to be torn. All you have to do is just get a piece of napkin and just apply that on the top and just pat it and just fill that in. Just fill that part in, okay? So once this side dry, you are going to do the opposite side. Make sure you got all of the spaces tapping really good. And once this part dry, you're just going to do the reverse side. And that's it, okay? So stay tuned for part three or four or five or six.